I honestly don't remember my, my pin number. I think it starts with an F. How would I describe myself in two words? Hash tag. I hope that helps. Okay, bye. The world smells like fresh laundry. I'm going to do worship and tribute. US version. Don't know the difference is there. Maybe it's like the time zone or something. This is post-hardcore, I believe. Um, don't really know a lot about post-hardcore. I know Fugazi, but that's about it. So let's let's give this a go. Came out in 2002. And the watch is on, the music is on. Camera off, oh, 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 straight away. It's like the Beastie Boys are delivering me pizza and they're just going crazy, I'm in my flat. I press the intercom button and then they just, whoa, 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 whoa. He's like, let me at them, let me at them. And the guitar's like, come on mate, come back inside. Finish your milk. The drummer sounds like he's shaking the dust off a Christmas tree that's been at the attic all year. He's like, whoo, whoo, whoo. let's get this Christmas tree clean. And the rest of the band are like, come on. We're trying our best to do some metal. I'm not dissing it. How can I? I'm only two songs in. But it almost sounds like they got the back of their mind. How cool is this song going to look to play on stage? This one seems focused on how it's going to look live. I'll be honest with you. I'm not enjoying all the changes in the singing style. It seems a bit put on. I don't know. It's like the musical equivalent of Crazy Shirts from River Island. It's songs to get dressed to. It's looking in the mirror kind of music. Just calm down. Let your ideas grow. Like, it's just so frantic. This feels like a musical genre in the same way an internet cafe feels like a place of travel. It's the musical equivalent of a meal deal. When I was 15 or 16, there was like a gadget shop in Cardiff and I bought this lollipop that had a cricket inside it, like a see-through lollipop. And I had this dead cricket in the middle and I, I didn't like lollipops, but I used to take it down to the field and just lick it in front of people. I think that was really cool. This music just reminds me of that lollipop. Pointless. In American films where the star quarterback takes off his helmet and he's just a dreamboat. That's what this music is. Handsome boy music. We're on a slower song now. And his singing is really making me cringe. Oh, oh fat Max. Yeah. Some of his breathing. It's so unwelcome in my head. Eh, eh, in my head. Honestly, I'm just gonna suffer till the end of the run. The other day, I tried an indoor circuit in the house on laminate flooring on a rug, and the rug kept slipping. It was annoying me. It kept holding me back. This guy is just slipping rug on laminate flooring. He just said the word competition, and it had 10 syllables in it. Oh, oh my God, stop. Hey, legs. What's it like down there where you can't hear this music? Oh, nice, is it? Lucky you. I wish I was a foot right now. Yes, recording of someone playing violin and singing in, I don't know, Hungarian is my highlight so far. This music is like, you've just bought a car, you're driving home on the motorway, and you want to see what the car's got. It's a sports car. You put your foot down, but the guy who just bought the car off is still in the car with you, trying to sell it. He's still trying to sell the car you bought. I've got it. When a band works well in the studio, it's like the whole band becomes a body. You have a brain, someone has a heart, someone has a lungs. This one, it's like the whole band is just a face. So someone's a nose, someone's a one lip, one's a bottom lip. <laughs> it sounds like it's written and performed by a face. That's it, just a face. It's a musical genre in the same way Plato's Cave is a deleted scene from Love Island. It's a musical genre in the same way The Matrix is a follow-up film to Bill and Ted. This bit sounds a bit like Primus. He's saying like, welcome sports fans and talking. I really like this bit. <laughs> I wish the whole album was like this. Hey, I've been stretching a lot before my runs for about two months now. It's made a massive difference to my strength, my stride length, and just how comfortable I feel running. It's a musical genre in the same way the couch to 5K is really a way to get your sofa fit and not you. This guy honestly needs to stop breathing in my head. It's like I'm a chewing gum you really like. The flavour goes and you don't spit it out, you just put another one in your mouth. Eventually, you got a mouthful of flavourless gum, but in there somewhere, you know there's something you want to taste. You know there's something you want to chew and enjoy. But your mouth is too full to chew. That's what this music is like. 10 kilometres of 39 minutes or See you later, I'm done. It's a musical genre in the same way 
Jennifer Aniston is an Iggy Pop impersonator. It's a musical genre in the same way Pimp My Ride is about becoming a better driver. <laughs> That's my favourite. I feel bad slagging music off. I'm really sorry. I don't like doing it. Let's look at some positives. Like this got loads of energy in it. It's making me run really well. It's keeping me motivated. It's just it's not to my particular taste. That's all I know. Lots of people who make music like this. And I like what they do. But something about this, I just I don't like. It's aged. It's aged more than a Slayer one has, and that came out in the 80s. It's very bizarre, but I'm running well. I'm out in the morning. I'm feeling good. I hope you are all feeling good as well. Uh, yeah, I'm not being negative, I'm just being honest. I'm fully expecting some stick for that review, but I just want to finish on a really positive. That was one of the best runs I've done this year. <laughs> Physically, I felt really good. I ran two, no, 12 and a half kilometers in 48 minutes with lots of hills again, lots of trails. And physically, that's probably the best I felt on a run all year. So that is the positive from running to that Glass Joe album. I can't remember what it's called now. What's it called? Worship and Tribute. It's soundtracked. Probably my favourite run of the year so far, so I'll leave it on a positive. Because I, 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 even when I criticise, I don't think I'd be a negative, I'm just being honest. And I guess being honest is a way of being positive. Anyway, that was Glass Joe. I'm probably going to do the Jesus Lizard next. Take care.